everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my May Favorites video. I know people say this all the time in their monthly favorites, but really, where has time gone? I am so excited for summer to come, but I know after that, there's gonna be cold weather and I just do not mix well with cold weather. So today I have some nail related favorites and then I have some non-nail related favorites and then I also have some unfavorites, I suppose. So let's get started. My first favorite should really not be a surprise because I wore this multiple times in the beginning of the month and that is Trenda Glaze's Simply Fab Blue List. This is a blue jelly polish. If you do not like to see nail line, you're going to need to apply at least three coats of this. Myself, on the other hand, I like the way it looked at two coats. It dries extremely glossy. I've said that so many times, but I don't know what Trenda Glaze did with this. Whatever they did, it worked, and I love this formula. My next favorite is the Nail Teaks Formula 2 Plus. Um, as you guys know, I recently hauled this because I have a vertical split in my thumb. I have been applying this and I've been applying it also to my other nails and I do see an improvement. My nails are stronger than they typically are. Um, so even though this is expensive, I would say that given that it is a treatment i think it's worth it my next favorite is a frida kala polish i don't know the name of this there is no name on this anywhere um it's just a mid-tone pink really not a unique color this packaging is just it's so pretty to look at I mean, they're expensive okay they are expensive but you're getting a fantastic formula and a beautiful um bottle uh you can get these opaque in just one coat so that's why i say that i think it is worth the eight bucks and this last one uh snuck in at the last moment and that is flame buoyant this is what i'm wearing on my nails right now this is from the same collection as simply fab blue list which is the summer rain 2017 collection from china glaze um this one i was able to get opaque in just one coat i really wasn't expecting that and in fact i don't even gravitate towards reds in general but there is something so candy like about this red that i love it it does dry down to more of a demi matte finish so if you don't like that no big deal just throw a top coat on um but if you're looking for a good red i would say go ahead and go get this one it's it's beautiful My next favorite is actually something that I've never talked about on here, but it was a recommend recommendation from Michelle Seymour. She recommended that um, when I am doing my nail patch um, to apply some acrylic powder on there as well. I've got to say that this has just turned everything around. I was struggling with bumping my thumb. I mean, you use your thumbs for everything, don't you? And I was just bumping it on everything and the patch kept splitting. But when she recommended it, I went out, I bought this, I applied a layer of it and my patch is staying. I can bump my thumb as much as I want and it doesn't rip apart. So if you are having the same issue as I am, I would say, Go ahead and get some acrylic powder. It is worth it. This month, I also really enjoyed Onyx Professional Hardest Hoof. Plasma Speedo here on YouTube talks about this. She's talked about it for years and how she really, really enjoys it. Sylvia from Hell, and, Hell of a Nails recently picked it up and posted about it on Instagram. She didn't end up liking it though. She ended up returning it. I am dealing with this split and I'm just like, let me just try anything. I will try it all. And so I picked it up. Uh, she didn't like it because of a it's like a very fake uh, cherry scent. Um, I will say that it's not really something that I um, I would like go out. I wouldn't go out and purchase that scent alone if it were like in a body spray. But there's this very creamy underlying scent that reminds me of the Queen Helene Coco Butter Lotion. My grandpa used to apply that every day after work and I lived with my grandparents um, for years. Um, and every day after work he would apply it so the scent is very nostalgic to me that cherry scent though is not something that I'm used to but that creamy underlying scent is just something that just uh, it just makes me happy you know so um, I am finding this is working for me too though I posted a photo of me wearing flame boy on Instagram and Julie commented on my cuticles and this is what I've been using I've been applying this religiously all for every day for the past I don't know four days now and it's just it's just turned around my overall um, nail appearance now on to some of my non nail polish favorites of the month my first favorite is the covergirl clean matte uh, BB cream for oily skin um, this is not something that I typically talk about but I have awful skin I have PCOS and one of the things that I deal with is a hormone imbalance. I have excess androgens and I break out like I am a 13, 14 year old boy. Um, I have to apply um, acne medication every single day so that my skin can look 
normal. Um, so I, I don't know, I came across a video on YouTube, I watched it, uh, just a spur of the moment thing. Um, they did some check-ins in the video and it looks so good at the end of the day. My skin is very, very oily, it breaks down just about anything and this is holding up so well. This is, it does say that it's a BB cream, but this is, I would say it's a light, it's a light coverage kind of foundation but it's really easy to apply i just use my fingers and it works out well my last favorite of the month is the vaseline lip therapy i found this through the lip balm queen here on youtube she has talked about it a few times in her videos so i deal with as much as <laughs> Ironically enough, I have very, very oily, ethnic skin, but my lips, I struggle with dry lips. I i don't know what it is, but I always struggle with dry lips. Probably because I need to drink more water. But I went out, I picked this up. It's just two bucks. I typically pick up the Burt's Bees lip balm, but I was finding that it just, it just wasn't working for me anymore. And I tried this the first time I tried it, I saw a significant difference in my lips. So if you are dealing with dry lips, this is this is fantastic and it's just two bucks. Now on to my least favorite thing of the month. I did not, it's not even a favorite. It's not even least favorite. I disliked this entirely. And that is the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer in Waterproof. When they say water, I mean, this is, this is, proof of anything I had. I typically remove my makeup with just some coconut oil and that does a fantastic job. And then I move on with my night. No, I had to do that like five times. But the, my biggest issue with this is that when I apply it, um, the brush is not something that I'm used to, so it does look a little bit clumpy, but I feel like with um, with time, I could get over that. I can familiarize myself with the brush. My issue came when it dried. This dries very crunchy, but it dries like super glue on your lashes. And so, I mean, there was no give, you know, like I said, it was crunchy, but it actually started to feel like I was going to rip out an eyelash when I was trying to remove it. I mean, it was just, my lashes were stuck in the position that I applied the mascara in. It was so uncomfortable. I mean, and I'm talking about four hours into wearing this, it was like my lash line was hurting because these, this was literally pulling at my lashes. So unfortunately, I've only tried this maybe two or three times but that was my experience with it if you have a way that you're using this let me know I feel bad for just wasting this I do not like to waste things but this is something that at this point um, it's more of a pain than anything so those are my favorites and unfavorites of the month let me know what your favorite nail polish was and I love hearing what your favorite non nail polish related things are so please if you would like to share that with me I would love to know and I will see you in my next video bye